Hello friends and strangers, I am Heli and in this video I am taking you with me into Epic Battle Fantasy V where we are currently puzzling our way through this ice walking puzzle for want of a better word for it In order to get to that treasure chest up in the um, upper right corner, we need to get up there. into the um, the square of ice or onto the square of ice that is at the upper right corner and we need to push the um, stone block down but let's talk to these NPCs first we're not the only ones collecting crystals for their energy. There's plenty of monsters down here too, because of course there are. There's always damn monsters around. <sighs> and they don't even give exp down here. Sigh, indeed. This old temple seems to be extracting power from these crystals without destroying them. We usually just burn them for heat, so maybe we've got a bit to learn when it comes to renewable energy. Where's all of this crystal energy going? That's probably not relevant to the plot at all, and neither am I. Ah, oh. well... Back to the puzzle then. So we need to get onto the ice tile that is in the upper right corner. And in order to get there, we need to we need to get to where my cursor just was right there, sort of underneath the, um, yes exactly, right here and then we just go left and up and to the right and here we are. So we push this block down all the way and then we could push this one to the right but just in case we need it to be there to kind of block us from getting off the ice, let's push it to the left instead. And then we can get the treasure. Hamburger, coffee and chocolate milk. No legs, you can have this chocolate milk. And now we need to get to the treasure chest on the upper left. And in order to get there, we need to We need to puzzle out the exact route we need to take. So we need to get here. And we need to get here from the right. So... Some 
somehow we need to get over here. No. Well, yes, actually we could have taken that route as well. I'm just noticing it now as I as I record this commentary but the route I figured out just now as or as I played the game was this one and there we are snowballs and sacred runes in order to get to the chest in the middle we need to do several different things we need to move all of those statues into correct places and then they will when they are in their correct places they will enable us to take the route we need in order to get to the chest in the middle. Now, it took me a while to figure out which statues to move and where and how to get there. So I will spare you a few minutes of puzzling here and be right back once I have figured things out. Okay, so first we are going to go here and then we'll push this to the left. And that is really just in order for it to allow us to step onto this tile right here. That is currently between us and the statue. From there we can get down here and over here we need to push this statue to the right like that now we need to get to the remaining statue and push it to the left and the way we can get there is just like this. Easy. Now that the middle statue is in position. And now we just go here and up here. And get the treasure. Sapphire, Emerald and Emerald Cyclone. A wind bow. Let's upgrade it and see what it becomes. Randomly cast Hurricane. Didn't have quite enough emeralds. Okay. Let's upgrade that. And I guess we could upgrade these staves as well some armor upgrades we can make just in case we need particular elemental or status effect resistances we can upgrade the elephant hat Ooh, randomly costs war mammoth 
and increases the chance of in inflicting status effects. I doubt we'll ever use this because it is so ridiculous but let's upgrade it anyway, just in case we need the resistances. Is there anything here? Oh, for that one we need a lot more tape. Okay, let's get into the next room. Oh! There's a three-headed dragon between us and that huge crystal. Hmm, which do I value more, wealth or health? This situation is indeed suboptimal. It would be better if there were no dragon. I'm sure it would be better that way. Let's go... Oh, hello. Let's deal with this first. Ooh, I'm so cute in this outfit, don't you think? I bet Natalie can't even fit into it. Well, I'm glad you like it, Anna. And yes, you are quite cute in it. Let's see, what do we want to do? here maybe just deal with this dog no legs You can do this. Wave one out of four. one is about to be done with. Let's see what comes next. More dogs. Icicle creeps. And a sapphire ore. instead. He can deal some fire damage. done with the second wave. Aha, we have flybots and zircon ores.
One more flybot to deal with. Okay, final wave. Bubbler MX01. Just the main event left. Let's heal a little. Matt and Anna could use this. Bombs work just fine. There we go. Next to the dragon. Ah, one more for wave fight before the dragons then. I'm sure we can handle this one. Ready? Bicycle creeps, angel mirrors, and an enchanted fallen. A uh, crucified fallen. Oops. Don't know where the enchanted came from. I'm sure we have had a crucified fallen in our collection before. Maybe we've used it in some weapon or armor upgrade. Where? 
And this will probably do third wave. More crucified fallen. And we have a dog and some hardy gloops. already gone. Let's try to capture this one. Got it. soon be done with this one as well. Hopefully we will then get to fight the dragons. sushi cat so we can leave the battle with 4 HP now on to the main main event uh, maybe we should scan them though Crystal Hydra Lightning, Fire, Bombs and Holy Damage will be especially effective Not too bad Do some bomb damage. No legs. You can do some holy damage. Do your earth damage thing. Time for a quick break. 
Woody Oak will take care of the battle for me. Nice. We are in need of some healing though. And no legs is siphoned. Not ideal. Let's bring in Natalie. And sure, let's give everybody auto revive just in case. And do some holy damage at the same time. Let's bring in Matt so Anna can heal. And sure, let's do some physical damage. This man is a legend. No wonder I lost to him. His swords could cut through a tank. Oh, poor Lance. Luckily you have auto revive. We're only letting you live because we need to win this battle. Don't think I've forgiven you. No legs. Dispels an ally's debuffs, heals their status problems, and also gives them blessed status. Let's see if um, if this will help. Matt has been siphoned as well. Let's bring in Anna. She can bond them a bit. Or actually, does she have... Yes, she does have a heal. Uh, she needs it herself though. Can't say he didn't deserve that. He definitely deserved that. I've never seen someone that could use such powerful magic and be a strong physical fighter at the same time. Maybe I should have tried those martial arts classes after all. There's kind of beginning to be some respect between Anna and Natalie. That's nice to see. Let's bring in no legs. He is no longer siphoned, so let's revive Lance. Maybe heal him as well. The others didn't really need it, but he did. Oh yeah, Lance missed the slime bunny. He um, didn't get the regen effect. Some more bomb damage. We are kind of starting to get there with these dragons. No legs has been siphoned again. Sorry, no legs.
Nice. Ugh, wasn't quite enough. Its bite is like a thousand shards of glass, gutting you at once. Lance's scales are very powerful, but he definitely doesn't have the sort of stamina that I have. He can't just use them constantly without resting. Well, neither can you, Matt. Your scales have cooldowns as well. Poor Lance. He almost made it. Oh well. Sorry foes, it wasn't personal. That dragon didn't stand a chance against us. I shall be known as Matt, the legendary dragon slayer, hoarder of crystals, first of his kind. That's strange. Before the battle started, you were both considering fleeing. They've got a very selective memory, Anna, and a habit of deceiving themselves too. Okay, let's go get some treasure. Silk, satin, and turtle chi, the uniform of the Turtle School of Martial Arts drastically buffs most stats at low HP. Well... We are kind of... Uh, we are not stealing this one, and it's too big to carry anyway. Okay, okay, okay. Chili pepper, rice ball and sushi. Bread fine fur and sami dress brought to you from the north through cultural appropriation boosts the damage of wind skills okay ruby opal and emerald There's a chest here as well. How do we get there? Uh-huh. Dark rune, dark matter and crystal gloop increases the party's max SP by two. Nothing else hidden. No. Nope. Let's get this chest. Topaz, moon pearl, and sapphire. And that's it. The turtle chi armor isn't really ideal for us. We are kind of trying to avoid getting to low HP okay so I guess we're done here for now we do need to return to the left wing once we have the boots that will enable us to walk on those rocks in the lava but for now let's uh, take these boots with us and get out of here we did get some stuff let's see what comes of this 
Okay. And this one. All right. Is there... Well, we can upgrade that. Is there anything else? This? Just in case we need particular resistances or something. Let's upgrade this one as well. I don't think we'll ever use it, but who knows? Continue from this point next time. If you like this video, please leave it a like. And if you'd like to support my efforts here on YouTube, please subscribe to my channel. It is quick and easy and doesn't cost you a thing, but it does help me a lot. Thanks so much for watching, I wish you a lovely rest of your day and I hope to see you in the comments below.